Where's the exercise? When I add exercise here? Yeah, at least I didn't put pressure on myself like that. But I can't some weight this year, you know. Hi everyone, my name is Notando and I make videos on construction, lifestyle and travel. On today's video, we're going to talk about goals, visions, dreams, and I will be going through the vision board that I made beginning of the year when I was so optimistic about what the year had in store for me. I just put it all in. Before I start the video, I'm just going to talk about what a vision board is and what the purpose of it is. To simply put it, a vision board is literally like your goals in picture form. So what you do, usually you write, let's say, goals for 2020, what you want to achieve, like resolutions and stuff. On a vision board, you'll then try to find pictures that resonate with what your goals are. And the purpose of it is to put this board up somewhere where you see it every day and you subconsciously stay focused on what your goals are. It has proven to work for me in the past. I remember the first time I had a vision board. I actually didn't know that that was a vision board. But in varsity, I had a poster format. It's like behind my door, I put pictures of what I wanted to achieve. And I was trying it out because it was still like a new concept to me. I literally love putting it together. I love the, the art that, that comes with it. So here's my vision board. Oh, I framed it so beautifully, you know? Like I was just, I went all in. I went on Canva. I was like, I'm not even going to try to find pictures on magazines and cut them out. So I went on Canva and kind of put it together under the collage section. I just, I like it. I think it's cute. My vision board says, Notanda's 2020 goals, a year of change. Boy, I was right about that one. So the first thing on my vision board was treat yourself. And it's got a picture of a sunset, a little giraffe, and animals, like safari vibes. Um, I, I'm going to take this one off. I feel like this did happen. It doesn't have to be specifically how I imagined it. But I feel like me going to Mpumalanga, which is the place of the rising sun, was what I had in mind and secondly I also had a trip in to Limpopo and witnessed the most beautiful sunset it's like I've experienced this the next one was grow decades apart plants so I had an idea to start my plant business last year already so like last year in November so I was like okay no it's fine I'll just do everything this year so I did it it actually did sort of grow especially in the beginning and then COVID happened and kind of like died down and every now and then I do sell, like the average that I sell, oh no, I feel like there's no need for, for us to talk about the details. It did grow, so I'm happy with this. I've neglected it a bit because of the new job and stuff, but I hope that I can actually put my mind and, and, and energy into it again, because I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I still need to rebrand though. I feel like I haven't really found what I, how I want to present the whole business. So I'm still working towards properly refining what decades apart is about but i love it it's my baby i love it relocate or study abroad this one is so vague i did not know what i really wanted but i know that i wanted some sort of change and this stems from how things were with the economy in south africa like i've always felt like i'm gonna be retrenched what is my plan i think i did relocate during lockdown via the internet i've been to thailand i've been to south korea i've been to japan I have been to Spain. I have been to so many countries via the internet. So, so I did relocate during the, the lockdown, trying to investigate these countries, what I'd like to do. Like it kept me occupied, it kept me sane. I am not going to lie. Learned some Spanish when I was in Spain. I feel like this, I'm gonna take it off. And I actually, I also kind of feel like I have because of the company that I work for now. It's got some relocation vibes to it without actually having to relocate, which is great. Then I have Balito in Cape Town. I still want to go to Balito in Cape Town. I still haven't done this. So I planned a trip with my friends for Balito for my birthday. But obviously I had a lockdown birthday, which was the worst. Oh, can I redo my birthday? Like, <sighs> thinking about it just makes me sad. I actually just think, I just want to go to the beach. I want to go to the beach before the year ends. So I hope this happens. If it doesn't, it's okay. It can happen in January. Clean up your space. This I did have to do only because I was stuck at home. And when you get bored and you can't go anywhere, you do clean. So I cleaned a lot. Did I maintain it? Not as good as I want to, but I did. Read 12 books this year. Um, according to my book review <laughs> um, thing, I've read about seven, six or seven. So this has not happened yet, but at least I did something. Eat less salt. I've got an obsession with salt. Like I, I'm a savory. I've got a savory tooth. If people can say sweet tooth, I think you can say savory tooth. So I like salty stuff. 
and I tried, but I still, I st I, it's not where I'd like for it to be. I still eat a lot of salt. Travel to London. It still hasn't happened. It will though. And I think this is broad. This is like traveling in general. Triple your income. I got some opportunities that allowed me to triple my savings. So I had a savings goal and I exceeded it. So I'm happy about this. Oh, and I also got a slight increase, which, yeah. This is going well, not triple though. It's not a consistent triple, but I'm, I'm happy with where it is. Um, upgrade to a beetle. Well, this, I had to cancel as soon as I put it here because beetles are, first of all, being discontinued. So I need to choose a different car. I did add road tripping. Did I go on a road trip? Yeah, Bumalanga was a road trip. Um, I'd like to go on road trips where I don't have to drive because I don't find driving very pleasant. I don't like driving at all actually i like being a passenger and chilling so i still like to do more road trips where i am not the one driving hint hint to the friends um drink more water i wouldn't say that this is a consistent habit i drink water when i remember i still need to work on this increase my subscribers to 1000 and we are on 1700 so i exceeded my goal by 700 people so thank you for watching this video and thank you for subscribing because you have let me double almost double my goal which is nice i've got a page i can't say it <laughs> about this specific one but i've got a page on instagram which i like i haven't been posting on it in a while it's very it's anonymous but it's all about um women empowerment hint hint and i wanted it to get to 900 followers for some reason and i also wanted to have a uh, branding for the page but because i have not been active on it it hasn't really gotten there but people are still following and liking it so i'm happy about that um i've not been consistent with the posting i said consistent posting so i still want this to be a thing i still want it to be a thing i love it it's very non-profit vibes it's really about encouraging women who are in my industry so the other one that i had here was improve and i've got a picture of like a pencil and drawing that was like i wanted to improve my qsing skills and i feel like right now i'm finally at that position where i'm learning something that's different from what i've been exposed to and that to me is improving my overall qs abilities which is great so well done for putting it here Natando. good good for you girls so yeah actually going through this is not so bad like i thought it was gonna be horrible the only thing that i'd like to still it's actually not that bad i'm gonna do one next year again because i like it i like putting it together i think i'm also gonna stick to canvas still i'll probably put like much bigger goals i hope this encourages you to start your own little vision board and see what's gonna happen in the future and this year has been a, a weird year and if you had the short end of the stick i am very sorry and i hope that you can get up and and and, and keep going thank you so much for watching this video see you later in another video do not forget to like and share and subscribe <laughs> I'm actually tired of talking wow